Looks like Chicago oh, land winning. Yeah, Raven King took the dub. Raven King took the dub. Big uh, noise coming through from Chicago, but now that is all over. The, it's our the turn now. has quieted down. We can focus up. We have Loaf. We have Hooligan. We got Sonic. We got Wario. A set that we've kind of uh, seen grow as uh, time has gone on. Yeah, a pretty, a pretty meta-relevant matchup. You see these two characters fight all the time. Um, I want to say it usually goes in the favor of Sonic, but we have definitely seen Bluto make some waves. Yeah, it's mainly because we've seen Sonic results just sort of spike in re like recently. Yeah, big time. So, and Wario has kind of bottomed out as players like Bluto, um, and really in America, just like it's low, low, low yeah. holding it down. It's Loaf and then like the super rare low one appearance in Michigan. You or know, the even rarer Tweak there's, Wario. There's Beady Bean, you know. Oh, Beady That's Bean. a dog over there in, uh, I want to say New Jersey, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, that guy's funny. So, yeah, this matchup, one that used to be seen a lot more at majors and uh, now is sort of like falling by the yeah. wayside as Sonic becomes more and more prevalent. But definitely also to be known as a slow, uh, one of the slower matchups. Yeah. As uh, we've seen both. Although this might just be the low one difference of being seeing a patient Wario. Yeah. Well, this could definitely be like this is one of the few matchups where Sonic does have motivation to approach. Yep. Because if Sonic is never approaching, then you are giving Wario two offs per game. Yep. You know, and that could be that could be very threatening. That's not always something you want to give up. And so far, we do see Hooligan playing the or er, taking the route of being a little bit more aggressive than I'm sure he would normally be because he doesn't want to give Loaf those offs. Yeah, as we see Loaf already though. Taking a bit of a, taking a pretty good lead here, taking the first stock now. 47, they're going to get a bit more. 129. Got to be careful of these Sonic options, especially at ledge. Yeah, back airs, down tilts. But no, interrupted immediately with his own back air. You see another flash of walk, starting to get loaded wow. up. Nice B reverse on the neutral B to get Sonic. Take a big chomp. That was just great baiting with this movement as Loaf does eat a back air. But the way Loaf was baiting his movement back and forth, he knew that Hooligan was going to spin dash there. He knew it was coming. So he just turned around and ate him up for it. He's a really good bait there from Loaf. And Loaf, one in the chamber, loaded up. With Hooligan at 96. I mean, yeah. 96 and gone. So already last stock here for game number one with Waft loaded up, and from ledge, you get the Nair opener. That could have spelt disaster for Hooligan. Great job to make it out of here. But still, you have a mountain to climb against Loaf. Yeah, if you talk to a Wario hater right now, they'll tell you that Loaf has a three stock lead. Yep. The Waft is a stock, and then there's two more left in the chamber. So Hooligan has Falling his Nair, work cut Nair out for him. Grab platform, on the platform. Up tilt, patience, waiting for more. Just, just taking the damage at this point. Nice bait with the forward air. Hooligan's waiting for the stars to, to align. Stars not aligning quite yet. A lot of shooting stars out there. Your chances are few and far between. The fair isn't going to get it done. Loaf putting on good pressure, but Hooligan so far has started fighting back really well on this last stock here. Yeah, and not wanting to go, not too overzealous to try and go for the uh, the forward air finisher, but nope. Get on and back on stage and Loaf right in with the grab. Looking for a ledge shove option, maybe, but still has Waft. Hold on to it for dear life. Yeah, Loaf playing super careful despite having the lead. Um, not, not really willing to rip off the band-aid on any of these opportunities just because he knows that uh, all of the decisions are going to go in his favor. He has yeah. this really big lead. If something trades just slightly against him, but it's not a full swing in Hooligan's favor, it's, it's not that bad for Loaf. He's going to take these trades. As he has slowly been able to push Hooligan up into those mid-hundreds of percentages, we're going to see a lot of Wario's moves start to kill around now, like missing a tech on upbeat. That's it. Certainly an unorthodox way of doing it, but Loaf is going to get it done. Yeah, that was an order of 50-50. She, like, does Hooligan tech there. Uh, yeah. not, very ambiguous on which side you're going to pop out on with that upbeat. Yeah, because if you do try to tech and you didn't have to, then you're just air dodging into nothingness. And, you just, and then you just yeah. eat a drop down back air, and it's like, well, yeah. take my hand anyway. Yeah, yeah, and if the air dodge isn't killing you outright for missing, then you're going to get frame trapped. Mm -hmm. Loaf with a really solid setup there to get the job done as Hooligan leans forward, locking back in. Very solid first first game there for Loaf. Um, I do think Hooligan should commit a little bit more to that patient play style that Sonic can have. Um, Loaf isn't exactly known for clutching up with the Loaf, so I think it might be a good idea on Hooligan's part to just kind of play at your own pace. You don't really have to hurry things up if you don't want to. Yeah. And so far we're seeing just that as, uh, you know, the typical Sonic gameplay. Not really too over anxious to uh, run in headlong against the Wario, especially after the way that game one ended. But Loaf looking to get any kind of opening against the blue blur. And right now, this is like what we're seeing here a couple down tilts at ledge. 
Oh. Nice drop, Nair. Great ledge guarding there from Loaf, but wasn't able to connect with anything more than 36%. And that ain't that much in this matchup. F Smash from Sonic in the forward air to clean it up. Wow. 106 early ish stock there off of Loaf. Good stuff from Hooligan. That's huge for Hooligan, but oh, gotta be careful. Don't wanna immediately give away another stock. Wow. Starting to see some life out of the Sonic player. Big scoop with the up air. Puts on quite a damage. Quite a bit of damage, rather, as Hooligan. Coming out to a big lead, and the aggression is flowing now. Hooligan surges forward after a really slow first stock is catching Loaf off guard with some speed. And almost lapping Loaf at one point there, but now Loaf starting to take a bit more command here. Has, uh, has Hooligan at ledge, and up B. No oh. tech in that case, but still not even taking it off the side. It'll be down air follow up that finally does it. That is one weakness that Sonic can sometimes uh, suffer from. Is the, that vertical recovery can be very exploitable, and Wario being very floaty, very uh, vertically able in terms of his recovery is not going to have any problem punishing that. Vertic capable. Capable vertical. Vertic capable. I like that. That's the way to put it. He's vertically capable. No, he is vertic capable. Despite <laughs> being a vertically challenged man himself, not yeah. the tallest guy is Wario. I mean, you, know, you don't see it, but Wario does a lot of leg dance. Yeah, you think so? All the Mario Brothers kind of have to. jump, that's true. He's, he's kind of got some some uh, some stubby legs, but he can get up there. That's very true. Surprisingly aerodynamic because he is fast through the air as well. Oh, yeah. Very, very quick with it. I, like, love that decision for Wario. I don't know who at Nintendo was like, yeah, Wario should have very high air speed. I'm glad he does, though. It's, 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 it makes for a very interesting style of gameplay. You don't see it too much. Yeah. Okay, down tilt rolls through. No follow-up. Is that going to get down there and look for that up air finish? Who again? What about Perry? Yeah, no. With, with, with Waft on deck, Loaf is looking pretty good despite the percentage being off by about 50%. You really never know what Loaf could do to clean things up at this point. Nice run up jab though from Hooligan as he is trying to take this stock. The moment Hooligan takes this stock, he can start to feel a little bit safer. He's obviously not out of the woods yet, but once you get that full stock lead, you're kind of feeling good against Wally here. Yeah, and really the, the speed is starting to really come into play in Hooligan's favor, making a lot more use of it. These dash out dash ins and then just yeah. sort of. Dash checking Loaf in a lot of ways with things like Nair and down, uh, sorry, Jab, Jab and down tilt. Okay, you see Hooligan playing much more evasive right now as Loaf has yet to make the adaptation to start swinging to where he's going to be. Loaf is just kind of running up and swinging where he is, hoping he's charging something, hoping he's playing a little bit slow. As I, it's been working out a lot, so I, I see no reason for him to stop doing that until Hooligan can prove to him consistently enough that that's not going to be working. Uh, goes for a really high up Nair that. He might have actually taken the stock, but oh, doesn't have bike, doesn't have enough on the upbeat. Unfortunately. So, one stock remaining for Loaf in game number two. Hooligan looking to even up the set, one game apiece here. And that could have been a lot of damage there off that outro. Hooligan missing out on a chance to extend the lead by a lot. 120%. Wario could clear up the stock. Loaf the type to save this while. Sometimes. Sometimes he'll, he'll let it rip right away. But at 120%, you gotta think Loaf really wants to pick up this kill before he's gonna let the lock rip. Yeah. But as long as Hooligan has this full stock lead, he has a really nice buffer in the air dodge again um, to get away from the grab. Loaf is, Loaf is throwing out these grabs, and Hooligan's been avoiding them pretty consistently. Yeah, doing a very, very good job of staying with Basic. Now get up from ledge. Gonna hold that shield for a long time. That patience is just so impressive. I think 99% of viewers uh, just then got hit by that back air, got baited into some dash attack or something like that. But Hooligan's patience puts him on top of the situation. He takes the time to angle it too, just waiting like, oh, is he gonna yep. go drop down there? Kind of trying to put the top of me. Who's to say? That's a lot of extra damage being it put out is. by Hooligan. His lead is extending further and further. Forward air doesn't get it done. Nice up tilt. And now yeah. it's a tie game. The big slap. You never know what could happen at this point. Tied up stocks with a big percentage deficit. Bike online to try and recover. While you're able to make it back, the locked online, things could get shifty at any moment here. Gotta play careful and just gotta keep to your game plan if you're hooligan. For a moment here, the game hangs in the balance. Hooligan needs to close that up. Because any opening, you see Loaf, you know exactly what he's fishing for. You know what Wario wants in this spot, Hooligan. Can oh, you avoid it? Lose the bike, still able to recover though. Good job saving the jump on Loaf's part. Just neutral get up, eating a down tilt for it. And now you're still stuck in right Oh, what a turnaround. Good bite. One up tilt, all falling up air. And you see looking for it again. Hooligan forcing Loaf to burn the air dodge. Doesn't quite matter as the back air is going to clean it up. Loaf dropping that game one, but not without scaling Hooligan a little bit. That threat of that waft is so potent. Very, very potent. Now we go to one game apiece. 
A very important game three here. Who is going to take it out on top? Loaf. Is Loaf going to make the adjustments? Or do you think Hooligan still is like in the driver's seat momentum? Yeah, that's interesting. I think I think yeah. Loaf has now seen like the two play styles of Hooligan. You know, Loaf yeah. has seen the aggressive and he's seen the slow. And I, I, I want to say Loaf is uh, the heavy favorite to win this matchup. I personally haven't heard of Hooligan, but clearly he's putting up a great fight. Yeah, yeah. Loaf is seated to win this matchup. So I would generally put him as being more likely to make the adaptation. But the way Hooligan played last game, you, you really do never know. And so far, uh, you know, for, has uh, Lance first strike with 21%. Loaf. Loaf trying to get the bike starting started early. And also Hooligan doing a great job of like just angling shield to avoid these falling nares from Loaf. He's got a lot of good, good mid-range mid, mid -range movement from Loaf has been what's really shining whenever he's playing well and uh, getting on top of Hooligan's attack options. is really ambiguous mid-range movement. Whenever Hooligan can start calling out his options, calling out these jumps with back airs, calling out the ground out options with spin dashes, that's when it gets really tough for Loaf. So it's all about being ambiguous and he's starting to do that a little bit better as the early down tilt is going to put him on top of the scramble situation. The bite as well. Really good stuff from Loaf. Really, really good. Keeping it going. Dash attack and keep him at this event. Keeping him off the stage. Up B. No tech situation. Instead, back to center stage. And just patience. Great job shielding from Hooligan. Let's now go back to neutral. 122 to 74. Another thing to keep to the mind is, uh, or pay attention to is, uh, Lowe's areas. Uh, back air can actually outrange a lot of them. Uh, yeah. Sonic back air can. I mean. So, you can make it hard to uh, contest Sonic in the air. Keep your combos going if uh, they bubble forward air. Yeah, and the one thing Loaf does have is that um, on, on, on some of his moves are going to come out a little bit quicker. Nair and Fair are uh, a little bit faster, but Sonic is just too good at being ambiguous with where he is, and he could just burst to any part of the screen at any given time. It's really hard for Wario to pin him down with one of those combo openers that he wants, with something like an up tilt or an air one. That's what Loaf has been really looking for, and he's had a hard time getting those long extensions. It's just been that slow trade, the occasional offstage interaction. Loaf hasn't really been able to put together any of those combos. It's been stuff like that. Those random one-off hits to just take stocks off the top. Yeah, just catch your opponent, build percent slowly, and then just chip away and eventually find that one kill option. Because now... <laughs> Turns it all the way around. Like, I don't want to go keep going that way anymore. Wait a minute. Here's that offstage interaction I was talking about. Missing with the homing attack as Hooligan hanging on by a thread. Oh, they're going to get killed by Nair, but no real follow-up as Hooligan in reverse himself. Nice forward air, putting stage. out some extra damage. Good stuff so far from Hooligan. Just trying to clean up the stock. It'd be huge if he could, as Loaf with a lead can be really tough to deal with. No bike on deck, though. No forward throw. Up there goes bike. And down to the ledge. Going to do it off the side. Go back to two stocks apiece. And back to Hooligan doing Sonic things. Dash in, dash out. Spin, spin dash. Oh, but great roll in there. He's walked off the side. And now Loaf taking the lead with just two moves. Yeah, I alluded earlier to how Loaf is really trying to look for those combo starters, the up tilt and the nair. The moment Loaf is able to pin Hooligan down with that nair one, he does not miss his waft conversion. The up tilt into waft gets it done. And now a huge lead for Loaf as he, as he threatens that neutral beat. And great job here. Now wants to keep up the pressure. Bike chase him Sonic down. Jab rolling through it, but could get the full tech chase. Nice parry. A lot. Hooligan loves Sonic down tilt. Yeah, that's it. It's a very interesting move to see so frequently. You don't see a lot of Sonics throw that out as much as Hooligan likes to, but that back air is going to get it done. But hold on. Hold on a second now. Very doable here. And Waft isn't online, so you, so Hooligan can kind of play this without too much fear, you know? Hooligan can kind of play it at their own pace. I do definitely like that. Three minutes, 14 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it hasn't been as much of a factor as it often can be in this matchup. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a factor in this match, given that we were like two minutes in and nobody lost a stock yet. But now, like, in yeah. another two minutes, everybody lost, everybody lost four. Yeah, stocks flew off the board pretty quickly in this game. Uh, that up tilt in the loft is a big reason for that. Take, take one off the board pretty early on. Hooligan's done a good job closing out. And now we're getting closer and closer to a last hit here in this game three. Could get risky. Careful. Yep. Just to angle it up. Now 123%, not the same way Ooh, the air dodge gets caught. 
and still makes it back. Wow, what a rec and no, no way. Not like that. All this crazy offstage interactions. Loaf is playing so dominant from the advantage state. And in the end, Loaf just slowly falls to his demise. Uh, ran out of bike. Probably wanted to go down and around, but didn't have the aerial resources. Maybe, maybe. Do it. So game three going for Hooligan. And just like that, you made mention to it earlier uh, before the set started. But now with side stream in top 64, this is something to uh, all of a sudden ears are starting to perk up. People are starting to pay attention. Like, uh oh, is Hooligan going to make an upset here? Yeah, Hooligan, I was uh, not wrong to say that Loaf was the heavy favorite in this matchup. Hooligan coming in as the 102nd seed. Ooh, so, wow. It's exactly what I'm talking about. This is the type of matchup that you're not going to see on the. Um, on the mainstream very often because most TOs aren't going to put the 101st Street in top 64 on the stream but who we can come through with a really good match so far and we're seeing more of it now is 78% keeps climbing here against Loaf yeah that was a damn good opening 87 to 40 so definitely cool to keep up the pressure on Loaf and unfazed by that top player difference gonna zoom around and land that back there. now already looking for the first stop and that's really one of the things that makes it so hard for Wario to keep pace with Sonic in this matchup. Is that not only can Sonic choose generally when he wants to approach, other than some aerial situations, yep. but he also matches, if not best, your damage output. Sonic is getting much longer confirms and putting out much more damage. So Loaf has to win so many interactions against all odds, kind of. Yeah, this would be the 102nd seed over the 6th seed. Wow. One of it would be one of the biggest upsets I've ever seen. This yeah, it'd be, be it'd be insane. It's now we're getting into it here. Still, Loaf at 150, Hooligan at now only now at 110. So both players at kill percent here. Up there, not gonna do off the top, but clips him through the bike. It's gonna be Loaf though, striking first with a dash attack finisher. 168, a small lead for Loaf. Could turn into a big one at any moment. Up till into an up air. The Nair half waft. Insane stuff from Loaf. What a Ooh. solid conversion to get yourself a large lead here. Put a hooligan back on the back foot. Loaf remembered. Oh, wait. That's right. I'm six seed. And just yeah. starts doing six seed stuff. Yeah, calm down, kid. You're playing pretty well, but let me just show you what I'm here for. Really good stuff. Great shot, kid. Don't get cocky. Exactly. Right. Down to it. We're still at 188. Hooligan has to get rid of this stock quickly. You know, man, the way that Wario can just pull the rug out from under you in a close game. It's like, we're swinging back and forth. I'm barely having a hard time taking this stock away, but I could tie it up whenever. And then all of a sudden, a half waft confirmed just kills you from zero. And you still haven't taken the first stop. Hooligan now still haven't a deficit that is looking more and more insurmountable. 214 to 38 up in two, full two stock difference here. Oh, yeah, and no is, stage. Go next. That's a stage bike, yep. You go next there for Hooligan. That's a full, that's a three stock from Loaf to force a game five. Yeah, very, very clean game after after losing a game three in unfortunate fashion. He's gonna wind up SDing. Just comes back with a different type of fire here in that game four. We got game five. I like to see it. I like to see it. Loaf not wind up quiet into that good night. It's gonna go out. Fighting tooth and nails. We get game five here from Loaf and Hooligan. We're going to final destination. How do you feel about this stage pick? This is interesting. I, I know that um, Hooligan has kind of been making use of the platforms from time to time to run away. So uh, the fact that he would wind up on this stage after such a confident Loaf win is interesting to me. I think he's just kind of trusting that Sonic has the better mobility to dance around Loaf, platforms or not. He's just saying, come at me, I got you. And another thing, we saw Loaf take that explosive half waft stock off of a platform extension. Yeah. So I think Hooligan is largely trying to take away Loaf's extensions with the stage pick. If you get no extensions, and I'm just going to be running around here. So good luck. And the speed so far is coming out in handy as he is up 11%. Not the biggest thing, but in this matchup, any little chip damage is going to matter by a whole lot. Every oh, neutral yeah. win feels so important. Both players started out like... Trading hot, hot combos. And now, oh, that's an air dodge, but the forward air gonna send back to stage, but doesn't matter, gonna land back here and still oh. take it off the side. So, Hooligan losing the first stock in this game number five, and now Loaf already looking for the re-grab to keep things going here. 66% already lapping a Hooligan in the blink of an eye. Early on, a tough break for Hooligan, and now she's got a work cut out for her. Just a lot of work to put in here. As you are up by quite a bit, Loaf is gonna be very difficult to come back on. Yep, trying to keep things up back here. 
Oh, goes for getup attack and Loaf waiting for it. Yeah, a little bit over aggressive as she's trying to swing big here from the deficit. Trying to take an early stock, but Loaf is just putting on uh, pressure too consistently. It's looking really, really difficult here. Shielding with the protection of that bike is not going to be enough. Hooligan sees through the sky. She's going to run up and grab you for it. Now she's trying her best in the same situation she was last game with Wario just at a really high percent. You don't want to, you know, get too overzealous. And that's how you throw stuff away here. And one but there is the loft. Players. Loft is out. We're looking, she's looking to clean it up in any way she can. Bike extending the hitbox, making it Oxford run, or awkward rather. Runs up, gets the jab. Wario looking for Bike when it's right in front of your face. Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Another dash attack lands, and here we are again. Same place as we were game four. Hooligan th down three stocks to one. Yeah, Wario with a lead in this matchup looks just as hard to me as Sonic with a lead. The back air finally going to get it done, but Loaf has basically two full stocks to try and land a waft extension. You know, yeah. This this game could be out of Hooligan's hands at any given moment. But you know, taking one stock here, showing. That there are signs of life from Hooligan as she's going to keep fighting with everything she's got trying to make this upset against Loaf. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it way down. But still approaching with a dash attack that's immediately parried. Surprised there was no uh, no punch. Yeah, I like the decision to slow the game down here if you're Hooligan. Just taking your time. You recognize that you have four minutes left on the clock. You can really play this at whatever pace you want. So she's going to take it really slow and bide her time, wait for an opening. And it works out really well. She's able to get 73% up right away from it. Coming, but you just coined yourself that ledge again. Got to be careful. Yeah, back air is going to do it. But great coach day. fair to keep Loaf at ledge, and now you have an advantage state. Yeah, that was a great forward air. Just ripped through that neutral. Caught Loaf doing a little bit of extra empty hops, not really doing anything with them. Said, ah, I'm just going to run up and hit you for it. Worked out very well, and now 101% on Loaf. Could lose this stock at any time. Hooligan needs to be able to get it done as soon as possible if she wants a chance here. A little overshoot there on the uh, on ledge. And recover. Now, oh, back in ledge. Gotta be careful getting up. Yeah, get up inside. Perfect timing. Yeah, and that's really what it was. Is it was that timing. Loaf doing a lot of just short hops, empty hops, trying to get some bait. But the get up attack is just gonna rip right through it. Up air, clanks with the back air. Hooligan comes out on top of it as she goes out deep for that edge guard. It doesn't work out for her. Yeah, she's trying to do the same stuff that Loaf did before, but it's just rip it. Just rip it. It's like, you're there. I'm tired yeah. of waiting. That's you're gone. 